Hi, my name is Sophia. I'm Hannah Brown, I'm in grade 10. Shauna Turner, grade 10. I came to IHUB because I like the flexibility and how you can work at your own speed, how you can do projects on whatever you wanted, and also the technology. I came to IHUB because the idea of learning at my own pace was very interesting. I came to IHUB so I didn't really like regular school. It wasn't the right pace for me. I didn't feel like I could thrive there. And I have a learning disability, so I thought if I came here, I'd be able to use technology more and develop better skills for dealing with that and kind of understand more about it and follow my own interests and passions. Last fall, Shauna applied for a $5,000 grant from the World Wildlife Foundation because she wanted to build a garden at the Inquiry Hub. And after she found out that she got in the grant, she asked Hannah and I to help her with the planning process. So we planned the beds and what we wanted to plant in them, and we had a day where we built the garden on April 26th. I've always wanted to start a garden where I could teach others how to garden. Well, there's the aquaponics and hydroponics, so growing plants with water, growing plants with fish. And we're working on different ways to do that and putting that, making a portable system for that. But last year, we, to discover the fish water, we did a seed to sprout experiment. So we looked at the different ways to sprout seeds and what's the best way to grow it. There's a student doing composting, and there are other small projects where we're trying to grow stuff faster. Beginning of planting season, we clear out the beds, we weed, we fertilize, and we turn the soil. We plan out what we're going to plant, where we want to plant it, um, what things go best with what things. We kind of, and this year we worked with other students that got them to plan out what they wanted to plant, which was really great. So we have more of student involvement, and we kind of. We see, we also, at the start of the year, we look at what planting methods we're going to use inside and outside. I want to make the garden more of a community area and invite younger students to also come and participate. Well, the three of us are planning on writing a manual for different schools that are interested in building gardens and it kind of tells you what to do and if you're having a roadblock then how to overcome that and that kind of stuff. The most challenging part was getting the district to agree with us on the planning of where the beds would go and we had to go back and forth quite a few times with them before they let us uh, build the garden. Um, I see summer as being a big challenge because that's the big growing season. And obviously we want the school to be benefit from the garden. And that's something that's really hard to do during September. My favorite part about the garden is eating the harvest it gives us. My favorite thing about the garden is probably what the link grows if it's successful. Because that's really great to see. You can actually see like the fruits of your labor. And I love seeing that. Well, I hope that there's a lot of future students that want to help with the garden and there's like a lot of, each bed has lots of plants in it and it's doing really well.